I'm going to cut straight to the chase with the message I have for you tonight. Tax is your friend. <laughs> Tax is your friend because it pays for many of the things we like. Health, education, welfare, roads, courts, housing, all the things that are the hallmarks of a civilised society. But actually, tax is your friend because all of those things are of great benefit to entrepreneurs. The health system means that if you become ill, you can recover. And it keeps your employees healthy too. All right? The education system matters because that's where you get your workers from, the people with skills who can work for you in your business, the people with skills who can earn incomes of their own and who are able to purchase the products and services that you supply. The welfare system matters because if it all goes belly up, then actually there is a fallback for you. You can afford to take risks because even though it won't be pretty if you end up on welfare, at least you will manage. And it's a backup too for your employees. Working for families means that you can actually pay lower wages than you might otherwise have to do, and that helps many entrepreneurs get going. The roads are important because that's how you move your product. The courts are important, so that's how you solve disputes. Housing is important. If your employees have a secure, safe place to live, then they will work much better for you because they're not worried about having a roof over their heads. So those are some of the many reasons why tax is your friend because of all the benefits it brings. But I also want to talk about why tax is your friend because of how it actually benefits you in the running of your business. And to start thinking about this, I, I sort of thought, well, I'm talking to businesswomen tonight and a lot of businesswomen start out running a business from their home, perhaps when they have small children at home. There's a term for it, mumpreneurs. <laughs> but as it turns out, most mumpreneurs don't like that too. <laughs> but I had a bit of a dig around and I came up, came up with some research. Uh, uh, some work that had been done by Mohammed Saud Khan at the uh, Victoria University of Wellington and Chelsea Rowlands, who I think must have been one of his students, published just last year, and about some of the issues that mumpreneurs face, their key challenges. Time, how to get their business to grow, finance, stigma, and family balance. The stigma one is with women who are running a small business from home being told that they're not really in business, they're not really at work, and they're not really at home. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> Some of the, the research that, that they report, they said, well, actually, most mumpreneurs don't like the term. And I can tell you, when I was preparing for this, I went and talked to two businesswomen in my electorate. And neither of them liked the term either. But they had some interesting things to say. So Catherine Watson is a graphic designer. She's got a couple of primary school age children. And Tax is her friend. And it goes to this thing around stigma. Catherine has a very small business, a micro business. And at this stage, her turnover is below the GST registration threshold. She doesn't have to be GST registered. But she has chosen to be GST registered. She's a graphic designer, so she's selling to other businesses. And of course, they like to be able to claim the GST back. But importantly, it removed some of the stigma. Of course she's properly in business. She has a GST, a GST number. So that's a very simple piece of advice for people who are getting involved and starting up their own business, for the mumpreneurs who are getting going. Get that GST registration. Yeah. Tax is your friend because it indicates that you are serious about what you're doing. And Catherine said it also meant that she priced her services properly. She had to think about the tax component, think about what the value of the service was, add the GST in and charge it properly. So she valued her own work and that's turned out to be brilliant in the longer term. She's now looking to expand. 
because she can, because she's taken herself seriously right from the start. The other mumpreneur I spoke to absolutely loathes that term. She's Louise Tangwai, and Louise runs a really successful business called The Sleep Store in Yulin. She started it up out of her backyard at home when her, her second child, after her second child was born. She thought there was a market for providing really good sleep products and really good free advice for young mums, for new mums with their babies. She was right. That business has grown and grown. Her husband works at it now, and they've moved out of the home and into their own site on Portage Road in, in Levin. Louise had some advice. She said, make sure when you're starting up your business, you have a good relationship with your bank manager. And her bank manager told her two really important things. And quote, have a separate bank account for your tax and be religious about putting this aside automatically. As you earn each piece of income, as you get each piece of revenue in the door, put a bit of it aside for tax because you will need to pay your tax bill. And once you start putting that bit aside for tax, you start planning carefully around your finance. That's another way that tax is your friend. Another piece of advice from Louise was, actually, the staff from IRD and Customs gave her some great advice. She could ring up and ask for help and advice, and they were brilliant. They actually wanted her to succeed. So the IRD and Customs were there to help, not just to take the tax. And Louise said, once you're planning for tax, you are planning for your cash flow. And cash is king with a small business. You need that money in and out. So if you're planning for your tax, you're looking at your cash flows, you're working out how to get more on the door, you're working out when you need to send it out. It's really important that way. And so from there, I have a piece of advice of my own. Your grown-ups, your business women, get familiar with tax, just the basics when it's due, about how much it is, when you need to make the payments. If you're going to run a successful business, that's something that you need to do. And if you can understand those cash flows and understand the way that you are actually making money and how much tax you will have to pay, even just as a rule of thumb, you understand your business, and that's when you will grow. The final reason why tax is your friend, every time you pay some tax, you need to remember that if you're do it paying tax, you're doing well. Something good has happened. You've earned some income. You've earned enough income that you have to pay tax. And that is why, and I hope you'll do this too, I smile when I pay my taxes. 